there they are on the line. Matt Smith looks over to see if Hector is going to come in. You know, you got your number one and number two qualifier. Matt Smith was your number one qualifier. Hector Rana, though, did set low ET of the meet in that first round win. So these are your two bi best bikes on the premises right here in the final round. This is the way it should be. How about that Hector? Whoa! Does he have a motorcycle or what? Jason Line will now face Alan Johnson looking to win his second race of the season. He won at Pomona. Alan Johnson, his last final round on the tour was his loss to Jason Line, and that was in Seattle last year. Jason Line has a pretty good race car this week in him. Jason had the whole shot. Jason carries it to the win. Wow. A six. A whole 61. Shot How about wow. that? And Alan, that, that was a great run in the left-hand lane. I mean, his dad, Roy, obviously makes the horsepower, but they also set the, made the setup on that. Just uh, Alan Johnson was a little bit later off the starting line than Jason. Bob Tasca, he's looking to win his first ever race, the number one qualifier here. If he can do that, then he'd be in great shape. He made the quickest run ever in top alcohol funny car history here in 2007. Tasca and Pedragon, two great friends. And now they face one another on the line in the final at the Gator National. Great matchup here. Bob Tasca's had a great race car all weekend long. And number one qualifier, he does not have lane choice, so he lost it by a hundredth of a second. If you look at his road to the final, who he defeated, Jim Head, Wilkerson, and of course the great John Force. Bob has had a race car, but he knows he cannot count out Tony Pepcon. Tony struggled this weekend, but boy, they really seem to kind of get it together in the last round. That 416 was a nice pass by Tony and the team. So this is a pretty good matchup here. Funny car final, the Gator Nationals. And Bob Tasket does it! Wow. Bob Tasket takes the win, the very first of his career. Wow! Nice and job. Corey McLenathan, he burns out. This is the final of Top Fuel. And there is Larry Dixon. Larry's looking for his first win with Alan Johnson and Jason McCullough as the crew chief there at Allen Abbey Racing, new team this year. And this is a moment, Alan Johnson against his old team, Don Schumacher Racing. Y'all saw Tony Schumacher and the whole team watching for Corey. Here they go. Corey's in trouble. Alan Abbey, Larry Dixon of 389, 311. They have their first win. Boy, Alan and Jason weren't bashful either, huh? 389 at 311 miles per hour. They didn't have that thing set up too soft. They had that thing set up just right to go down that racetrack. You're going to see Corey smoke the tires pretty quickly, but then uh, Larry, that thing really drifted over towards the center line a little bit.